Husband kicked me out and printed divorce papers but, is mad that I was with someone else. About two years ago my husband started constantly accusing me of cheating, despite the fact that I never had. Let's keep in mind that he is retired and asked me to stay home with him and not work because he always wanted a stay-at-home wife Sue. We are together almost 24-7. Anyway, I begged him to stop for a whole year and he said he didn't believe me. He began to track me. My girlfriends asked me to go to lunch one day so, I asked him if that would be okay and he said yes, I usually have to ask him, not tell him location flag. By the way, he has never liked me having friends, but I went anyway. The place we ate at was a hibachi restaurant that happened to be in the same vicinity as a hotel. He was livid when I got home, even with my leftovers, and accused me of going to the hotel to get screwed. I was mind blown and so hurt. Fast forward a couple of weeks, he all of a sudden asked me for my debit card. I gave it to him and thought nothing of it until he told me that I wasn't getting it back. I have never taken money from him or been a big spender. He, then, planned a vacation with just him and his son. I didn't get angry at all, but did ask if there was a reason we, me and my kids, couldn't go this time like we always did. He said that he and his son talked and decided they didn't want us coming because we were annoying. My heart broke. They went on the trip and my husband calls me in some rage telling me to get my stuff and get out of his house. I have anxiety because of him so I immediately caved. I borrowed money from my grandmother, went and bought a car, rented a place, and moved me and my kids out immediately. He printed up divorce papers within days. Fast forward again. During the separation, I slept with someone once. I felt like the world's biggest piece of crap. I immediately called him and told him as the guilt was eating me alive. He told me that it would all be okay and that he wanted to start going to church together and get counseling. He promised me that he would not ever bring it up and that we would only look forward. I agreed because I believe in second chances if someone is willing to try. He is always angry with me now and says that I cheated on him, despite the fact that I fessed up before we even decided to get back together. My life has been a living nightmare since we got back together a year ago. I need help on what I should do and I need to know if he is justified in his anger towards me. Edit I want to mention, to those jumping on me about my mistake, that he was talking to another woman also. Again, not justifying my actions. Just making that clear. End this marriage and get therapy. He needs therapy and a whole new personality. He kicked you out of the house and served you with divorce papers. He broke up with you he doesn't get to whine that you had sex with someone else. You were broken up at the time and honestly, you should have broken up with him sooner. He is emotionally abusive and manipulative and this was a calculated move on his part. There is no getting better from here. Only more control, more manipulation and more guilt. I don't advocate for just telling people to go straight for a divorce unless there is abuse involved. Divorce. What are you waiting for? Did you see the way he treated you when he thought you were cheating? Do you think it will be better now that you told him that you slept with someone else? Please leave him. He does not sound rational or sane. This is unhealthy for your kids. Please leave him. Figure out a plan, get a divorce, and leave him. If you were getting a divorce and the papers were there, how did you cheat? Thinking face. He's really manipulative. You should leave. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for you kids. How devastating was it for them to not go in that trip and get kicked out? How hard is it for them to see how he's treating you? That's trauma that will later send them to therapy. Think about that. Run for the hills. Find your spine and walk out of this. You aren't guilty of anything but he is gaslighting you so much that even the high sea boots are seeing the light. Do you think he's cheating on you? He has a weird fixation on it. If he's not at the very least he's trying to manipulate your anxiety. Sounds unhealthy to begin with, I hope you're safe. Divorced wife and now stepkids no longer talk to me. Me now, 54M, divorced ex, 57F, over three years ago. She has two children from her previous marriage, 33M, and, 30F. For a bit over backstory my ex's first husband was abusive to her and the kids, I met them 20 years ago when my ex and I started a relationship. We made a great family, lots of fun at holidays, lots of vacation trips and just overall, I was happy to be their stepdad. I learned a lot about being a better person, I matured, was more responsible and kinder. I was able to work on my career, though I traveled and was away from home a little too much. Over the years, there was much love and happiness, with a few missteps along the way. I got to walk my stepdaughter down the aisle when she got married, I cried for a week, 
and was grand dad to my stepson's kids. Unfortunately, that last few years, life with my ex was miserable. She got into a form of extreme man-hating feminism. Her anger issues became too much. With a much gut-wrenching decision, I had to end the marriage. The kids did not take well to this, even though they are both married adults. My stepson cut all ties with me and my stepdaughter did chat with me, as long as I initiated, but did not treat me as the only father figure she has really had. Since I stopped being the only one to reach out, I haven't heard from her in almost a year. I have to admit, I was surprised at the reaction. I know they would be hurt but, I wasn't expecting this no contact. I am not sure what to do. Do I just leave them alone and wish the best for them? I don't know what to do. Hopefully the people of Reddit have some ideas. Nothing much you can do. You divorced their mom. You aren't their biologic dad. They are hurt you left their mom. They may reach out, they might not. But, their mom comes first to them. What does man-hating feminism look like in this case? Because usually when people say that kind of thing it's usually coming from someone who thinks anyone pushing back on anything is the same as hating all men. Like a woman says that it's unfair that a guy with 20 sexual assault allegations gets to be president and some dude starts yelling about how she hates men and goes on to defend Cosby Law. Need some context on the man hating. I mean, it seems pretty cut and dry here. You wanted a divorce and you got it. The end. What exactly did you expect? I mean, you went and said, Hey kids, I know I divorced your mother and told everyone that she was into an extreme form of feminism and hates all men. But why don't we still hang out and be a family? Yes. That's how relationships end when you asked for a divorce. I suspect your analysis of your ex-wife is so wrong that her kids are like mom's ex-husband is nuts. That's how I read your post. You married in with the kids. You divorced them too. Same with in-laws if you like them. It is crappy. Asking what you think. 12 female and 17, almost 18 male. Whenever I was 12 female I started talking with a 17-year-old who was about to be 18 in a month. I remember that he told me we couldn't talk any longer once he turned 18, but when he turned 18 nothing changed. In fact, we had our first kiss on his birthday. We were still boyfriend, girlfriend. Back then, I would tell you that nothing was sexual, but now, I can confirm that there was some sort of sexual text, nothing intense, but eventually there was some physical touch as well. We went to a private school together while I was in 7th and he was in 12th. I thought our relationship was perfect. Once I went into 8th and he graduated we were still off and on. I ended up having sex with him when I was 14 and he was 19, then we completely ended things when I was 15 and he was 20. Was all of this wrong, or am I overthinking it now? Edit. FYI my parents were against and did all things to keep us separate. His mom was supportive and even helped us sneak around. That's weird to me now. He was arrested for physically abusing a minor, 2y,o, and is going through the court process. I think the physical things went at a fast pace and I was just doing the things and wasn't actually thinking because I was so young. He did convince me to have sex at 14. I didn't want to and messaged him that and he just guilt tripped me. So I ended up doing it. He attempted to have sex with me in 7th and 8th as well. But it didn't work. Yes this was wrong. This is grooming and he's a pedophile. An almost 18-year-old shouldn't go after 12-year-olds and I am most certainly sure he knows that. Please break up with him, and I hope you're okay. This was very wrong of him. I'm so sorry that this happened to you. This is called grooming and he's a pedophile who could, and should, go to jail for, sleeping, with you. I'd suggest seeking legal advice so he doesn't do this to other young girls. No you're right. It's very wrong and very weird. He's a predator. Yes it was very wrong. Adults messing around with kids needs to stop. I haven't gotten over mine and this sticks for a very long time to everyone it has happened to. Deadpan face. Not healthy. Alright. Some wise man once said. N equals. Someone's age. Well N. 2 plus 4 is the minimum age you can go with. 18 halves plus 4 equals 13. Well that's illegal. Okay but seriously. I am M18 and I cannot consider going with a girl who is 15. 16 very hardly. IDK it weirds me out. That's pedophilic. How do I get my dad to stop smacking my butt? I'm not sure if I'm being dramatic when I say I hate when my dad hits my butt in a joking way. It's been happening since I was really young, think baby age, till now. He is 55 years old currently and I just turned 18 in June of 2021. It's been bothering me since I was at least 12 and he hasn't stopped. 
He used to do it out of anger when I disobeyed him as a young child but then he started doing it as a joke when I got older. I've tried asking him to stop in the nicest way possible when I was 14 but he wouldn't listen. A big thing about my dad is that he is abusive verbally and sometimes physically to me and my three sisters. He's very narcissistic and hates when I'm not agreeing with everything he says no matter how stupid or wrong he sounds. When I tried to ask him to stop he yelled at me and said, that A is mine until you're 18. Among other things. But now that I'm 18 I'm scared to tell him to stop. I am afraid of getting yelled at or even kicked out of the house. I don't have anywhere to go. But every time he does something like this I feel so uncomfortable, objectified and upset. I feel sometimes sick worried about when he's going to try to do it again. I feel nervous whenever I stand up now out of fear of getting my butt smacked. Even when he's not even in the room. If you have any advice on how to make it stop please let me know. I'm desperate. Thank you for reading. Now that you are an adult, it's time to move out because it appears that your dad refuses to stop. He wants to continue this form of abuse, so leave ASAP. Do you have a mom or stepmom? Shit yourself. Next time he smacks it he'll be meet with poopy underwear. Sounds like he's giving you PTSD from his abuse. Narcissists can't be reasoned with. It won't matter what you say to him. The best thing for your mental health is to move out and cut contact. In the meantime, do you have any friends or relatives you could move in with? I would call a kid's helpline, assaulted women's hotline, crisis centers, or women's shelters for advice and resources. See if they can help you find your own place or get a well-earning job to move out on your own. You need to start getting things together so you can leave. Do you have a job? Your own bank account? A bank account without anyone else's name in it? You need a funds and a plan. Do you have any friends or other family that you can stay with? From what you say, I don't think you can get him to stop without a total shit show. The best thing to do is to start making an escape plan. Okay so my dad used to spank my butt sometimes when I'd walk by him. He did it since I was a really little kid, and when I was young it didn't seem weird. I wasn't on speaking terms with him for a lot of my teenage years, but when we reconnected and got closer when I became adult I noticed it happening every now and then and it really weirded me out. I was straight up with him and let him know it was totally inappropriate and creepy as hell and it made me feel sexualized. He looked so surprised when I told him. I think to him it was all so normal and he still saw me as a little girl. He never did it again after that. Karate block his hand and push it away. Look him in the eye and sternly tell him no. Rise and repeat and like a dog he will eventually learn. Just tell him it's odd behavior, you're 18 and he shouldn't be touching you even if playful, as feels sexualized.